it's Ali and welcome to another episode of Fun Learning, where learning is fun. Let's go! Our topic for today's video is office machine and equipment. Some of you might ask, Ali, when does technology even started? Technology started in 18th century when the Industrial Revolution began. Industrial Revolution is when the machines got invented and various types of it is used for development and production of goods. Machines made the human effort much more minimal than ever. This was great for the business owners because it made the production faster which makes them save more money. Now, Machines and technology does not only make the hard work for employees a lot less hard, but it is also used for the modern offices to function ergonomically. Now, let's forward to today's machines, specifically office machines, shall we? But isn't machines expensive? Yes, they are expensive. A big investment, but worth it. However, if you are a business owner, you must know the specifications so that your machines can pay you back by working efficiently. Maintenance is also a big investment. It is the duty of the office manager to select the right type of office machines. If they don't select it properly, then the office work won't be efficient and effective. Now, let's talk about office furnitures. Office furnitures is an important part of office management. It is concerned about the comfort and the convenience of the employees. So for this part, I want you to I want you to close your eyes, viewers, and tell me what you see when I say office. It is the the chairs that rolls around the endless click clacking of the keys of the people typing, the occasional rings of the telephones, then followed by the word, hello. No, wait, don't stop. Close your eyes. Okay, fine, you get it now? Okay, so those are examples of office machines and furnitures. But wait, there's much more of it. The office machines were invented to reduce monotony and increase the efficiency of works done. In modern offices, business completely depends upon the office machine and equipment. It increases the level of operation, improves the performances, safeguards the files, and increases the accuracy. Office furniture increases work efficiency. It makes the office more attractive and pleasant. It helps the office to maintain it's the office to maintain its prestige. It also provides a better work environment for the employees. Better office and designs helps reduce fatigue. Now, let's not forget about the one more important thing inside the office, which are the office machines. Some of the examples of office machines that are deemed essential in today's modern office are Computers, telephones, printers, scanners, copiers, and shredders. These are the equipment, some of the equipments that we can see inside a typical office. And also office stationery, laminating machines, label makers, and miscellaneous electronic equipment like TV, webcams, headsets, and so on. It is a big investment every company has to have. There are eight reasons why office machines and equipment are important not only for a business but also for the employees. Number one, save labor. It saves labor because machine can replace human effort. A single industrial machine can replicate the amount of work men can do in just a short period of time. Thus, it decreases labor. Number two, it saves time. Simply because the machine works faster than humans. Number three, machines are accurate. Machines are accurate because it can be programmed to do a task precisely. Thus, it have uniform results. Number four, it reduces the chance of a fraud. 
while there are machines that are programmed to do a product or a result accurately or precisely, there are also machines that are programmed to check for anomalies and accuracies. It also keeps systematic records for all the employees. Number five, machines retrieve the monotony of work. Some jobs are routine and repetitive in nature. Repetitive breaks are monotonous. Office machine helps in retrieving the monotony of the employees. Number six, to improve the quality of work. Office machines helps to maintain the neatness, accuracy, and the quality of work done. Number seven, to increase goodwill. When there is saving of labor and time and increment of accuracy, then there are fewer chances that error and fraud may occur and it can improve the quality of work done, which can lead to the customer satisfaction as well as for the employees. And this can increase the goodwill of an office. The last reasons why office machines are important, number eight, it lowers operating costs. Office machines helps in reducing operating costs. It helps reducing the wage bill and the excessive filing. You might ask, Ali, can you give me some tips on how to get the best possible machines? Well, yes. In fact, there are a few criteria that you must consider when buying an office machine. And here are the tips to look out. The tips to look out for are number one, the cost. The cost is a very important factor when selecting any machine. It should be within the budget of the office. Number two, design. Design relates with the height, the width, the colors, and the numbers of the drawers, and so on. No matter what, furniture should support the space of the office and facilitate the works done. Number three, durability. Office furniture and machines should be made out of steel because steel machines are more long-lasting than goods. The office furniture should be free from breakage. Number four, multiple uses. An office furniture should be usable for numerous purposes inside an office. Number five, uniform. An office furniture must have a uniform quality and cost. They must have a low maintenance cost. Number six, safety. Of course, office furniture should always be safe. Avoid using glass top and sharp cornered furniture for the safety of the employees. Number seven, saving space. The choice of your furniture also depends upon the space inside your office. Bulky and spacey furniture can indirectly add to the office cost. Number eight, comfort. Office furniture should always be comfortable. It will affect the efficiency of the employees. And lastly, portability. The furniture that is portable can be easily shifted from one room to another, one building to another, and one location to another. So for our conclusion, office furniture does not only mean cubicles and rolling chairs. It could be so much more. Companies nowadays have developed their offices with the less monochromatic and boring looks. And here are the examples of some companies with a shout-out worthy offices. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this, punch the like button and subscribe to this channel for more fun learning. Bye!